we come to the monastery because we want to develop some good qualities of mind. You live outside, you can get all kinds of material things, but qualities of mind are hard to develop out there because there are a lot of currents running in all kinds of different directions. So it's good to come to a place where there's just one current. There's the current of the Dharma. Leads the mind to higher and higher states, leads you away from greed, aversion, and delusion. Because the currents out in the world are all pushing you, trying to push your buttons, your greed button, your delusion button, your anger button, to make you go where they want you to go. But it's not necessarily in your own best interest to go those places. So you want to come up here so you can shave away those buttons so there's nothing to push. And that way you can be more in control. So focus the mind and the breath and make up your mind you're going to stay here. Any other thoughts that come up for the time being, just put them aside, put them aside. There will come times, of course, when you have to think, but not right now. Right now is the time to give the mind a chance to gather its strength and to take it, get its bearings. In other words, having a clear sense of what's right and what's wrong. Anything that's going to cause harm to yourself or harm to others, you can clearly see. When you sit very quietly, you can see, clearly see that it's wrong. It's when you're in the heat of the moment and somebody's pushing your buttons. All of a sudden you see things wrongly. So first get the mind so that it sees things clearly and then give it some strength so it can follow through what it knows is right. Because all too often we may know what's right, but we don't have the strength to follow. That way our knowledge doesn't give us the results that it should. So we center the mind both to get it clear and to give it strength. So when you see something is wrong, then even if it may like doing it, but you know that it's wrong, it's going to lead to suffering, you can say no. And you have the strength to stick with that no, and you've got the clarity to figure out why the mind wanted to go with it in the first place. So you can undercut that cause. When you see that something is good, even though you may not like doing it, but still you know it's going to get lead to good results, you can talk yourself into doing it. That way your knowledge really does give it benefits because you've developed the clarity and the strength needed. So you can be sure that your knowledge is sure and you have the strength to follow through. This way you become your own person. You go out in the world and they try to push your buttons and they find there's nothing to push. That's when the mind is really free. <laughs>